Hello, welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. I am Natalie. I'm here to do the mid-month reading for the sign of cancer. Didn't even realize that when I start the smudge. I'm a cancer sun, so I'm a strong one too. Um, so, did I smudge the cards? You know what? I don't remember picking them up and smudging them. Well, an extra smudge never hurt anything. All right. Okay, I was hoping these readings would be live for the mid-months. I tried real hard, so I'd like to get it out from the top here. Thank you to Karen from British Columbia. She's like five, 6,000 miles away from me. And uh, way on the other side of Canada in British Columbia. And we were via the telephone. Well, she tried to help me work out the bugs with this um, program I had to download, OBS. I have to have it in order to broadcast live. And we spent a good hour, I guess, on the phone. And she knows that. But, oh, my God, it was complicated. I said, this is not user-friendly. The average layperson could never figure this out. It was insane. I was just like, I consider myself pretty savvy there when it comes to computers. and program. I've been at this a long time. I even studied two and a half years. Um, networking and engineering and um, university-level stuff. So I'm not stupid, but I'm like, software is not, hardware is more my, my thing. But anyway, and then we said, okay, that's it. We finally got it. We got it to work. And I said, all right, I'm going to hang up. I'm going live right now. I don't even know what I'm going to say, but I'm going live. So I thought when I hung up from her, hmm, I'm going to reboot the computer. And I'm going to reboot my modem. And that way there's no resources weighing anything down. I should have a real good connection brought everything back up started all over again brought the program up brought up YouTube wouldn't work been at this for weeks it would make my life a lot easier did I say this was for cancer mid-month yes I did 2019 for the month of June mid-June can't walk and talk at the same time So it looks like another 55 to 60 hours. I got one down and 11 to go. This is this is 11, and I'll have 10 more to go. Sometime tomorrow they'll be done. I want it live so bad just to make my just to make it easier for me. And I know I got black all over me. And I know you guys would really prefer to have the live readings. I know you would. I'm doing my best. I'll get there. It burned me right out yesterday. That just drained everything out of me and thought we were there and we, and we weren't. So anyway, go to go to Karen's channel. She has a channel. It's um, Mystic Oriole 333. Subscribe to her. Give her some positive um, support. We'll say we'll put it that way help her channel grow told her I was gonna make I said I'm gonna make your ass wider than Canada <laughs> there I'm gonna mention you I said in every video all 12 let's see if we get some people to go and sub you up I was very 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 super grateful for her help very grateful so what's up for cancer Mid June 2019, please bring us something good and wonderful, and wondrous, and have it actually happen. That's what I want. Good stuff. Good stuff. This is the last shuffle here, I think, and it'll be time to do the run through and cut the deck. And so we can begin. last run through there's my cat he's due to come over and start chatting me up he always does thinks I'm speaking to him he's looking around he says I don't see anybody else here she's got to be talking to me <laughs> all right I cut the deck right here cancer 
not looking forward to next month for cancer. For my birthday, no, I'm not looking forward to my birthday. It's the big one. It's the big one. Dear, dear Lilith. Yeah, yes, if you weren't here last time, Lilith is back. Lilith. Of the top five cards, as this deck stands, the cards that are meant for this free general public reading for the sign of Cancer the Crab for mid-June 2019. Of the top five cards, the cards that are meant for their spread. A little bit more oomph, please. There we go. You're listening well. Thank you so much, and now you can rest. Only ten more times, and you'll be down. All right. Okay, very first card is your overall energy, and we're looking at the Knight of Wands and activity. That's from mid-June. That's your essence. Number two, finances and wealth, competition. I need this one. I need more activity in my life, big time, desperately. Card number three, your health, your hearth, your home, your family, your relationships, the vortex. Temptation. Oh dear, what are we going to be tempted to do? Rebuke that devil. Number three, challenges the high priest. Wisdom. You know what I just heard? Somebody going ahead and doing something even though they've got the wisdom to know not to do it, but they're going to do it anyway. That's where the temptation comes in as well. These all fit together. Number five, final card, message from spirit. Oh yes, cancer. Mwah. Oh, yes, Cancer. Oh, what a relief. I just feel this weight come off me. The Nine of Cups. It is your wish card. This is ending on a beautiful note. A beautiful, beautiful note. Okay. Cancer. Knight of Wands. And that's what I need. I need some more activity in my own personal life. I really do. I personally don't, I don't get lonely. I don't get bored in the traditional sense of the word bored. Like, I'm so bored. No, I don't get like that. I get really restless. It's, it's, it's different somehow. I enjoy my own company. I love my friends and family, but I got to tell you. I enjoy my own company more than anybody else's. I really do. <laughs> I do. That's probably about the only selfish thing about me is I really like my time. I like to listen to music. I like my music loud. Nobody else does. And when you get company, you can't do that. You've got to turn everything off or down. Unless you're partying and I'm too old for that now. I party in my own way. But when I go to the beach, if it's a nice day. I don't have to worry about coming back. I sit down there three or four hours. I've done it all alone. Just staring out at the water. Playing with the sand. Feeling the warmth of the sun. Before I know it, three or four hours has gone by. And I'm like, okay, i got to pee now. I guess I, guess I better go home. Beaches don't have discreet places to go pee in the bushes. They're not on my beach. you got to go home. So that'll drive me home. Um, and get home and surprised and shocked because I don't wear a watch that it's been three or four hours. Um, this sort of thing. It's about doing your own thing. And feeding and nurturing yourself. See, when I get around other people, I can't really do that because I'm sharing the moments in the now with somebody else. So things take on a bit of a different twist. Um, but I need more activity. I need more um, just getting out and about socializing is what I need to do. Here comes that meme in my head again. I know an awful lot, of, well, an awful lot of people know me. And I know a lot of people. But 99% of the time, I'm alone. Not lonely, but I'm alone. And that meme has always hit me just like out of left field, like, wow, that is so me in my life. I know so many people, thousands and thousands and thousands, and they all know me. 
I'm usually alone, and I kind of 99% of the time I enjoy that. I like it that way. There's no drama. Um, sometimes people make my head hurt. <laughs> they make my spirit cry. <laughs> you know, it, it's just, I don't know. It's because I'm female, I'm sure, and I'm now a widow. You know, and my friends and I talk, and there's no disrespect to our dead or anything like that. But women, when they get older, they're not so quick to run into the next relationship. They're finding that, geez, you know, living alone's pretty cool. I only have myself to pick up after, my own laundry to do, cook my own meals for me, whatever I feel like having. There's nobody to consider because there's nobody living with you. You find you have your money lasts a lot longer. I don't know what it is about you men. I've always done better financially alone. And you would think two paychecks coming together under the same roof would just be glorious after being alone. It's not the case. Believe me. It is not. There's going to be uh, more than a, a, this card here brings a real, a real energy boost is what it does to your life. More activity. There's more going on. All aspects of your life get this 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 big energy boost in all corners. Um, there's going to be more opportunities and more more offers, more interest that are coming your way from others. Your your forms of communication, all of them. Your um, text messages and emails and phone calls and meetings. Everything is going to pick up and be busier than you have been for quite a while. It's just the way everything's lining up, and it's the way it's going to go. Um, a lot of you are making progress in your professional life um, and in your family life as well. There's growth and whatnot there. Um, there's a lot of activity within the home. It appears to be healthy for the most part. This is a very fast moving energy as well. Things are gonna pick up, things are gonna get fast. You may have a few moments here and there through the next two weeks where you say, whoa, slow down. It's all coming too fast, it's happening too fast. It's either one extreme where nothing's happening to the other, it's too much. We get a little overwhelmed. Cancer, some of you may be crawling or trying to hide inside your shell. So the world gives you a break and gives you some breathing space because we're not used to that. Focus on any projects that you have on the go. You're putting a lot of time and effort, excuse me, cancer, time and effort um, into your projects. And this is to be a good thing for sure. This card brings you freedom, just in the general sense of the word, and freedom of movement, freedom to turn, shift gears, shift any way you want. It's just... It's like free for the pickings. You can do what you want, but yet you're really busy. I don't know how that, that, that melts together, but it does. Your keywords are energy and movement, a focus and passion, balance, communications, relationships are highlighted here for the month. That's your overall energy. The next card we have is the five of wands. What are you doing there? Competition. It's wands. A lot of fire going on here. Intense fire. Activity. Stuff going on. Stuff going down. Um, this is a card of being tested. It's a card of com competitiveness as well. Um, Everybody's out to tell you what to do. Everybody's out to give you their opinion. Everybody's out to give you your advice. And some of these everybody's are very overwhelming to you mentally and emotionally and spiritually. They 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 tend to they tend to overwhelm. Um, for those of you who have children at this time, well. In this part of the world, we're coming very close now to summer break for our school children. And it's this time of year they usually get real antsy and they get restless. They're, 
sitting at school and looking out the window and there's a beautiful sunny day and the birds are singing and the lawns are green and they just want to be outside. Well, that's how it was when I was in school. We didn't have cell phones and I, I, iPods or pads and this kind of a thing distracting us. We wanted to be out. We didn't want to be in sitting down. We all had a lot of energy to burn. I'm sorry for you, Ollie. Oh, I am not tired. That's the last video this happened, and I never yawned at all. I've been taking it easy all day. I'm not tired. I was actually getting super restless. I said, i got to get the reading started and give me something to do, something to focus on. Help me pass the time. Um, and as soon as I turned the camera on, this happened just recently, the last reading I did. Not this one, but the one, one from before. And it took the yawning, and it wouldn't stop. As soon as I shut that camera off, it just went away. Lots of oxygen in the room. Had the door and windows open till it got dark. June bug season. I've been body slamming up against the, against the windows. I've got all my outside lights turned off. And you would think that they wouldn't even come near here, but they're seeing the light from the window. That's because we have no street lights out here. It's pitch black. I don't see any cove when it's dark like now. I can hear the surf. Um, but I can't see anything. I can't even see the trees in my backyard. It's so dark. You wouldn't go out without a flashlight or a big spotlight. I can tell you that. Um, so I don't know what they're doing here anyways. Some of you will find your kids being really restless at this time. Uh, being more demanding of your attention, of your time, of your supervision especially. They're going to be doing things they wouldn't normally do and you're riding at the end of your rope here saying what's going on. The kids are just restless. They want school to be over, I guess you could say. But um, nobody seems to be hearing you, Cancer. Oh, I hate when that happens. I really hate when that. Money-wise, the way nobody would hear me personally money-wise is if I was doing a personal reading and they 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 kept asking me when it's all on the sheet that I send out to them everything's right there and they ask me over and over again how much is this again or what if I do this how much is that I sent you that sheet I hate repeating myself Ooh, it hits a nerve sometimes I'm okay with it and I'll tell them they'll say sorry to bother you I know you're busy I'll like that's okay and the ones that I don't answer that's okay too is because I've already heard from you five times and it's been the same thing over and over again you people just need to calm down a little bit. That's all it is. Um, but I don't like talking about money. I don't like discussing it. Especially when it comes to people giving money to me. Makes me, um, it's awkward for me. It's just do it without making a big deal about it. Do it without making it a focal point. Just, right? Let's just keep quiet about it. Kind of a thing. Um. But I don't know. Nobody's listening to you, Cancer. The last couple of weeks, you're having a hard time being heard. You're having a hard time being understood to, with people. Oh. And some of them know you. And they know better. At least they should. You feel like, why am I all of a sudden a stranger? Nobody's listening. Nobody's hearing you. They're not hearing what you're saying. You're going to have to be extra diligent when it comes to your communications for the last couple of weeks, Cancer. I hate that. I hope I hope this does not end up resonating with me. Because that just, it just does. It drives me crazy. It really does. And again, your communications are going to get crazy. You're going to get a deluge of emails and phone calls, time conflicting meetings, feeling like you're in demand and you're being pulled back and forth by everything and everybody and you just want to be stationary you want to be balanced you want to be quiet you want it quiet you want it mellow and anything but is coming your way feeling like you're being pulled in every direction all at the same time you need to put the brakes on and you need to tell yourself cancer when it gets crazy like that, slam the brakes on. I will. And tell myself and you do the same. I'm only one person. There's only 24 hours in a day. In that day, 
I need to get things done around my house, my life. I need to stop to eat. I need to stop to pee. And I need to stop to rest and sleep. I'm only one. I will take everything in small bites and baby steps. And I will get through everything on my time. They can't start without you, right? Do it your way this way. Otherwise, you're going to get overwhelmed. You're going to become... So exhausted and so busy, you're going dizzy. That's not healthy. That's not good for you, cancer. All right, so you've got to get through that, right? You've got to put your feet down. Matter of fact, the advice of this card is for you to become more of an observer when you can. Quiet, don't draw, attract attention to yourself. Be the fly on the wall and watch the people around you. Take that all in. You're really good at that, cancer. You read body language. You're very observant as it is, and when you make a point of being observant, you practically see right through everybody. That's going to come into play. That's going to make an impact on you during the last two weeks. Somebody will. You're seeing their true colors, and they don't have to be bad. These can be true colors that are really good. That A lot of people, they're generous, and they're kind, and they're sweet. and they, Some of them don't like the whole world knowing that they're like that. So they may do something wonderful for somebody, but they don't want thanks or attention for it. They really, really don't. They're shy. They feel uncomfortable, this sort of a thing. Um, so keep that in mind. To try to become more of an observer when no one's listening to you anyway, be the fly on the wall. Start focusing on yourself a little more than you have been. Keywords for this card are posturing, ego, Pride, debates, being tested, being given opinions and listening to different opinions and communication overload in general. Um, your finances are going to be stable for the next two weeks. I'm feeling that for everybody, Cancer. Feeling it for you all. Um, solid is what I'm hearing. You're not going to be spending an awful lot. It's not that you're being cheap or tight. You just have no reason to. Um, so you're going to start July out probably better shape than you did in June. Things will improve that way. Fives are so testy. I don't like fives in tarot. Five is my life path number. Ironically, when I learned that, it explained so much to me. Um, when you read up on my, it doesn't mention this, but the number five in tarot brings a lot of angst. It usually doesn't bode well, um, kind of thing. So I didn't like seeing that. But you may find yourself in competition with other people, vying for more money, vying for, um, attention, this kind of a thing. Your next card, hearth and home, family relationships. You got the vortex temptation and I'm, I'm telling you I'm hearing this for somebody you already know you shouldn't do this it's almost like stepping out with somebody this is what I'm seeing I'm seeing <clears throat> for both sexes this could happen Somebody you've known for years, somebody that's a friend, you consider a lifelong good friend, you've known them 15, 20 years, if not your lifetime. You find yourself hanging out with them or associating with them in a friendly manner, social setting, something like that. And you're very happy to spend, you know, some time together. And then they come to visit you afterwards in your, at your home because you've kind of reconnected real strong. And they ruin the friendship. Friendship goes right out of the window. Why? Because they cross the line from friendship into hoping for something else. Maybe it was you, Cancer. Maybe it was somebody else. Um, some of you won't hold back on that. You say, what the hell? I know I shouldn't do this. It's going to ruin the friendship, but what the hell? And they cross that, they cross that line with the other person. Um... You're probably, it's going to make things real awkward between you. Unless you're the extremely open-minded type, and so is the other person, then it probably won't bother you at all. But for most, like for me, that would bother me, and it would piss me off. 
if I had a male friend that crossed that line. Um, and it was established that we were friends, we're always friends, we're always going to be friends. There's that friendship bond. Um, and if they crossed that line with me, it would probably make things very, I would get very awkward and I'd be angry. If it was done to me, I'd say, Why'd you have to, why did you have to ruin it everything for? Why did you do that? You're one of the best friends I have. And it's kind of creepy knowing that you're looking at me that way now. And I had no idea. See, that would bother me. I'd still want to be friends, but man, it would take a long time to get past to get past that. Till I seen my friend with another female dating, having a girlfriend, then I'd relax. And I'd be happy for them. Um I don't know. If life only went that way, what's that saying? If you want to give God a good laugh, tell him your plans. Yeah. See how see how that works for you, right? <laughs> but I'm sensing that this card overall um, usually means two things. Affairs of the heart and um, addictions to just about anything. Food, love, sex, alcohol drugs, street drugs, prescriptions, bad personal habits, chewing nails, this kind of a thing. Um, but somebody's feeling trapped. That's another thing about this. this. This is a card of oppression. This is a card of being enveloped in something that's not serving you any good purpose of being you won't let go of it. You know why you won't let go of it? It's all you know. At least you know this. This is familiar. Whatever it is, your drug, your addiction, whatever, your obsession, you won't let go. You don't want to try anything new. You don't want to see what it's like to live each day without that obsession or addiction. You don't care to know. People won't leave you alone about it. Especially your closest friends. They're at you all the time and you're saying, I can't, I can't let go of this. You're feeling oppressed by something really on the other side of that. And it's so close. Look at the metaphors in this artistry. You see they're in the vortex, caught in the whirlpool, and they don't see any way out. Ever. At all. They're so close. Look to the calm water. Look how close it is. All the calm spots, they're closer than they think they are. And for those that get really brave and really strong and, and say, I'm going to get through this. I'm going to let this go. I don't want to be oppressed anymore. I want all my freedom back. I want my life back. They're going to get through it easier than they think they will, Cancer. And you'd be saying, if I'd known it was going to be this flippin' easy, if I'd known I was going to actually do this and be successful, I would have done this a hell of a lot longer long long time ago um some of you feel trapped by financial contracts loans maybe um maybe you've got a new home a new vehicle you've taken out a bank loan and now you're bound by that you're feeling oppressed that way you're feeling suffocated um uh, some of you are obsessed and addicted to love and lust right but it's a feeling overall of as i said it's oppression and it's feeling that something or someone has power over you and control over you and there's nothing you can do to change it you feel victimized some of you where the temptation comes in you're feeling an attraction to something or someone that's not ever going to be good for you. That temptation is very strong for some of you. You say, no, it's not going to be the best thing for me. It will be in that moment, but once it's over, it'll be hell. It'll ruin everything. It'll ruin me. It will be hard to get through. you got to break free. You really have to break free. Feeling these, these draws, this, this, this magnetism. To something that's never going to be any good for you. It's like addictions, being addicted to a substance. Um, and loving the way it feels or the way it makes you feel. And wanting to, and you consciously know it's not good for you. You say, I know it's not good for me. I know that that's bad for me. But I don't want to give it up. 
I like it too much. I like the way it makes me feel. I don't feel lonely. I don't feel sad. I don't feel hurt. I feel comfortable. I feel content in that moment. I don't want to give that up. But in some way, it's harming you, and you're aware of that. It's an inner struggle that you're going to deal with cancer. Some of you are addicted to other people, as in love. And it so happens it's not a good situation for you to get, get yourself out of there. And your common sense tells you that. I know they're no good for me. But why do I yearn for them so much, so hard? Um, and you know it's no good, that it's going to lead to nothing that's healthy for you. Because this person, and I, what I call it is pure lust. You're lusting. There's a difference between lust and love. The only time love fits in with lust is because you love to feel lust. <laughs> That's about it. Real love? No. Not at all. You don't like hearing that? I got one word for you. Tough. And most of this that you're swimming around is, is just an illusion anyway. It's not real. It's not, it's not something... That's real. And what you need to do is to break free and claim back your own power. Why are you giving your power away? You know, if that person wasn't with you and they were with someone else, they'd do the same thing to them. That's in their personality. Be, don't become the victim. <coughs> you can get your, your power back. You can break free at any time and you need to believe that. It's your truth. Sometimes you have to be cruel to yourself to be kind, to go through that pain and hurt yourself before anybody else does. If somebody else does it, you can't control that. At least you can control this within yourself. The advice of the card is going to be a lot easier than you think to end or break um, agreements and habits. Just do it. Don't let anything dictate to you who you are, what you are, why you are. Don't let anybody dictate that to you, ever. You take your power back. Choices, contracts. Power, affairs, restrictions and addictions. Watch it around the home life. Watch it around your family. And you hope and you pray that everybody's going to be there when you come through the other end. Don't worry. You don't have to worry about that. Next card. And if that wasn't challenged enough, you've got wisdom. Some of you saying, I know all that. I know the pros. I know the cons. I know what I'm doing. I know it's a risk. I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm very tempted to do it anyway. Knowing it's going to lead to a lot of problems for you that will not be pleasant. Cancer, 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 cancer. Some of you are thinking about furthering your education or, or, or um, upgrading your skills. Becoming more in-depth at what it is that you do or you want to do. You want to know everything like a sponge. You're wanting to soak that all in. Um, I, there's a marriage here coming up. I don't know cancer. It's not for me. But it's showing um, ceremonies like a wedding, marriage um, coming to be for some of you. Again, somebody being lorded over, as the expression goes. Feeling like you're under somebody's territory. I don't know, Cancer. I don't know. But your values may come into question. You, your values may feel like somebody's trying to threaten your values. Like, I don't, you're going to be saying, I hear somebody saying, uh, I don't go for that kind of thing. I, I don't like that. I'm not comfortable. And somebody trying to talk you 
into it by blowing it all over kind of thing. That's no big deal. Blah, blah. And your gut's telling you, yeah, it is a big deal. It's a big deal to me. I don't float my boat that direction. Okay? <laughs> You're going to have to be kind of in your face because they're thinking that you're a smooth one to pull in. You're just easy going, Cancer. And they take that for being easy, right? The other sense of the word. Um, listen to your intuition here whenever you're doubting anything and let your intuition guide you. It'll be your best friend. It really will. Sometimes logic is logic, but it's not meant for you. So you need to listen to your intuition, which is all about you, and that won't steer you wrong. With this guy here, he he's he the energy with him is beautiful in the way that he's the wisest of the wise. He's the wise man of the ocean of the world in general. <clears throat> He stands at the portal of life that separates. There's a portal. He stands with one foot in each place, one in the world of human men, terra firma, and one in the other world, the metaphysical, the other dimension. So he knows how things work. That's why he's so wise. He knows everything about everything. And wise decisions are being called forward here. You're going to have to stop. Use your brain before making any decisions or making any action happen. Following through with things. Um, he represents traditional values, traditional ways. He represents a lot of people in a lot of different ways. Um... And you may feel restriction, maybe by another's traditional beliefs, with this card. This card's about teaching. He is the teacher of tarot as well. You're to heed the wisdom that surrounds you, your logic and your own common sense as well. During the last two weeks over something, and I'm loving this last card and another long reading. I'm sorry, guys. Nine of Cups makes me smile. All full of wishes. What do you think about that? I think this is fantastic. This card brings all benefits of love. It brings benefits of romance as well. Um, it brings benefits through your friendships with other people. It brings you support. And it brings money too. Your home is highlighted here. Your life, if it hasn't, is going to begin to flourish come the last two weeks. I'm feeling more into the first week of July. You're going to see some growth going on, some flourishing, some blossoming within yourself and your life going on. I'm feeling everything, feeling a bit lighter. Maybe it's because it's summer. It's summer now, right? That, that's where we, we will be by the end of the month. Um, and it's a beautiful thing. It's a good thing. You're feeling rejuvenated. You're feeling refreshed. You're feeling hope. You're going to be feeling contentment and fulfillment. Don't let your ego get to you, though. When things get real good, don't become smug. Keep that tucked under your hat. You don't need to do that. You may um, want to share some of your good fortune with other people, whatever that may be. There's a lot more socializing going on. I hope so. I'm ready. I don't want to spend another summer sitting here, summer nights all, no, not feeling alone, but it was wrong. It just felt weird, you know. Um, I put the days in, and I didn't feel as bad as I think I did, or off in any way. Um, it's my, it's my reflecting back on it, saying, oh, yeah, they wasted that whole summer, you know. I got to win a lotto, get myself a vehicle, and then hit the road. Not travel. I don't travel, but I'd find things to do, let me tell you. I'd be a lot more active. You're perfectly placed here. 
to make your dreams come true, Cancer. The advice of the card, make your wish. Make your wish. Feel good about it. Keywords, happiness and support. Love. Entertainment. Harmony at home. Relationships. I'm going to end your reading, Cancer, on the best word when it's used in the right context. And that is the word abundance. Overall abundance and all of over abundance of health and abundance of wealth, abundance of love and support. Um, your world becoming more the way you want it and abundance of that is beautiful. That was your reading, Cancer. 41 minutes. It doesn't seem that way to me. I'm sorry. It feels like 20 minutes and I'm done. But anyways, yeah, I hope you like the reading. Please subscribe and, um, and join the channel. That way you won't um, miss any. Any of the readings from Bay of Fundy Fortune should be notified when one is posted. Thank you for all your likes and your shares and your comments as well. Some of them really crack me up and make me smile. And some of them make me shiver with dread. But more good than bad. Thank you very much. I only get a bad one once every couple of months, right? But anyways, everybody else has just been wonderful. Thank you so much. If you'd like to have a private reading with me, you may do so by reading the information below this video window. And after you read through, grab the email you see there for me. It's the only one I have. And uh, send me off an email and we'll get you taken care of. If you'd like to join us on Facebook, you may do that as well. We are closed. We are private. We are Bay of Fun Day. Um, so please come and join us there. It's a very comfortable group. It's There's no drama in there. It's very quiet. It's very zen-like. Everybody gets along and everyone is extremely supportive of everybody else. And you can leave any time you like. And um, I think that's it for me. If any of you are looking for me, you don't find me right here in Bay of Fundy Fortunes. You find me walking down below along the water's edge that bring in the highest tides on, in the whole planet, on the whole planet. F-U-N-D-Y. You can Google that. And um, I think that's about it. Other than to say, please keep the peace in. Share that love and that light out with the rest of the world. Um... I wish you the best of the best the last couple weeks of June. And be mindful of every moment that you live because you are living under the microscope of the universe and everything is recorded and take noted. Thank you so much for being here. I wish you the best and I hope to see you all back in July. Goodbye for now.